Okay, so let's take a look at the appearance. Right? Get this closer look at this guy. Oh, I see them in the comics. I try to find them, make sure I had an accurate picture of them. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that, bring that down. Yeah. And just to make sure that he looked, you know, close to it. I've had I haven't seen him before. This is the first time I've seen this guy. It's just he's new to me. I, I've never seen him before, so this is pretty new. But let's go ahead and check him out. Okay, we're looking at his head. There you go. That's pretty basic. You have your black paint over a mold, right? There goes your green colors on each side that go all the way to the back of the head to the neck, right? Okay, we've seen the other mask before. This is where it detaches. Here, you just take it off and peg it right in. There goes that faceplate. Now his mouth is closed. You see the lips very well, very nice. Very nice on the lips. I mean, that looks really good. Done well, sculpted very well, and painted well. Not to mention the mask itself. So, all that looks very good. Going down to his neck. Okay, you see the neck sculpt there. Not a bad job there either. And then you're having this green, which is kind of that cheap paint that scuffs. You can see that it's going to have that scuffing going on there, right? Anywhere in the body here. It looks like the paint will scuff off. If you're messing with it too much, I think that rubs off fairly easy. But you see the design going to his chest, flowing all the way to his shoulders with that light green uh, to, uh, tracing the figure, right? You see tracing all the other areas. And then in the middle there, you see the iconic green lantern icon symbol there, right? Okay. And then if you go to the back side, you see it's also flowing in the back with the black painted. That must be the whole figure painted black as well. They got the mold and it's probably just paint the black all the way across. I do have some finger indentions from when it was wet. <laughs> you see that there? It was wet and somebody pressed on it. Yeah, they did on both sides. That's what that is. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Now, if you're noticing, looking at it from afar, yeah, this looks great. But then you go down to the sleeve area. Did they have to do it like this? So what they did was they had this black. This is black. And then they kind of got a little, little paint, a little spray paint, taped it off and spray painted more sleeve. <laughs> That's what they did. So they want to add a little more sleeve. They spray painted. Do you see that there? That sleeve. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's what you like. That's what you like. So does that tell me in the comments? Does that help it? Any? The spray painted sleeve? Does that help? Okay. Alright, so the middle of the body, all black. And then you're looking at that huge diaper. Black, legs, black, right? Nothing new there. Nothing wild. All the way black on the back. There you go. Let's take a look at the arms. So we know the mold is like this tannish color. He does have a tattoo there, none on the other, and nowhere else. Just tattoo on his forearm and wrist, right? Don't know what that says. I think it says another toy review. I, I don't know what it says. Okay, and then we go down to the legs. You have your basic boots. They molded it out, cut it to where it looks like boots are on, and you just paint it green, right? There you go. That's nothing too crazy right oh yeah and the hands here have them gloves get thick paint paint it like gloves right leave the fingers out there you go okay not bad on the appearance i think it looks pretty good nothing's the paint's not off anywhere i think it's hilarious that they use that paint for the sleeve <laughs> it, it, it does it does a good job in the distance you look at it, it's okay but when you look up close it's like is that a tattoo <laughs> so it's okay not bad and that'll do it for the appearance